Hi, the directions recommend a 9 16 wrench, a 3 16 Allen key wrench, and a half inch drill bit. But I actually found that I used some different tools. I used a 9 16 wrench, but the Allen key was actually 5 30 seconds. And, then, and I used a step bit for the drill bit. We're going to start by going to the back corner of the truck and taking off the tabs there. Here we're going to place the bottom track, place a screw in the corner to hold it in place, and then take a silver sharpie and draw in the holes so we have a place to drill in the plastic. Here the marks look good on the plastic, so we're going to remove the plastic piece by pushing down and sliding it back towards the bumper and then you just lift off. Alright, so now it's time to drill those holes We're with our half inch step bit. It's easy to miss. We actually missed the first time a few times, so we had to re-drill the holes a little bit bigger. But just take your time. You'll get it. Before we put the metal tracking down, we want to put the gasket or the weather stripping down. That'll help seal it and protect the plastic and the metal. Alright, now we're ready to put in the metal tracks. We'll grab those bolts and put them in from the bumper towards the cab. Now when we're putting the uprights together, we learned that the directions were incorrect pictures that they drew were not following 
the sizes they drew. So we just followed the sizes and figured out to put the correct sliders in the bottom of the uprights. So be sure and follow the size, not the picture. All right, it's time to throw in the uprights. Let's slide them in. Alright, we inserted the double bolts and the single bolts into the crossbar. We put the crossbars on top and connected them. And now we just put the flat washer, the lock washer, and the nut in that order and screwed them in hand tight. Here in the middle, we're putting the adjustable braces in. They just slide right in. I decided to put them on the bottom, not on the top. In the same way, we're gonna put in the angle brace as well. The flat washer, lock washer, and then the nut. So now we're just finishing up. We're tightening up the bolts and putting it straight so it looks good. If you want to change the height of your rack, loosen up the bolt a little bit first. It makes it easier to move up. 